Connor went to wash his hands. Took so Chris, they lived somewhere in was it East London. Took Chris and made him promise not to tell anyone. Chris, thinking it was just an impulse protective of her, promised not to say anything. I mean, you know, if if a guy's telling you to move along, you know, what's the thing you could do? Nice shank a motherfucker. Yeah. Prison rules. Prison rules. <laughs> yeah. The day passed quickly when the brothers. Oh, for fuck's sake. The siblings. Two brothers. The siblings returned home, began to eat and with hit, with with his mother, their mother. That should be there. You go. Well, how was school? School. <laughs> his uh, his mother asked with a sweet smile, and apparently in quotation marks. Dot dot dot. Was so he, he said the words dot dot dot. What is he squall? <laughs> Yeah, for Final Fantasy yeah. fucking nine. No, eight. That's eight, yeah. Chris shuddered, trying to answer this question. Uh, Nina said with a smile on his face, psychopath. What? Nina went upstairs after eating and opened his closet to control his collection of Jeff the Killer. He had, <laughs> he had Jeff the Killer 1 and 2 and all the merchandise. <laughs> the posters were divided. It's all, it's all Logan now. Some old notebooks and overlaid with some dolls and stuffed animals took one of the notebooks and went to bed. And I saw... You mean the news book? With its sinister smile, he was scared. Looked Whopper. at him for a bit what and then it? whispered... Whopper. Jeff, I do this. What the... What's gone? I've been gone for like two seconds. Why is she talking to Jeff Keller? She's got, a, she's got like a little shrine in her cabin or something like that. Are you for real? One day at school, I am for realsies. Nina opened her locker and found a note saying, "I know what you did, but do not worry, I will not tell anyone." What? So, so, so wait, no one knows that she's not nice someone. No one knows she's shanked motherfucker. Nina did not find any sign that would help them understand who the sender. <laughs> the sender. I was going to do that as well. Aha! Ninja. Mm. So we don't talk with a mouthful of burger. Burger. Meanwhile, the sanity of Nina did not improve. One day, Chris was playing with his friends on the block. It was getting dark. They're all so Ni- Yeah. So Nina's mother, Monica, asked her to go and get it. Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> Nina getting out. He saw the children playing in the distance and went towards them. He came from the children, asked them where was Chris replied that he had gone with a girl. Nina, obviously worried, he went home to take the knife hidden in his room. Natural reaction, <laughs> yes. really? Just as, as soon as you get in a bit of trouble, let's, better shank the motherfucker, let, shank up. Let's not inform an adult of the problems, let's knife it. After a few minutes that Nina was looking for his brother, he heard a car coming, from which he emerged with Chris clothes all ruined. The sister immediately shook the boy by the arm, and led him, and and led him behind him so that people in the car did not touch it anymore. That's not a sentence. Who is talking? I don't know. I think Nina, maybe. Oh, Chris! Holy God! What happened? I we haven't got a voice for Nina. Oh, Chris! Oh, holy God! What? what, what oh, I've got a voice. Like, um, got can it. you do an impression of the Mad Hat from Alice in Wonderland? No. No. Chris, holy God! What happened, brother? He exclaimed, Nina holding the little body of his brother. Them? It's no good. They're for me. Me. What? Chris. <laughs> Chris, holding on to his feet. Which, are is still, which are still aching and sore to this day. <laughs> holding on to his feet? What is he, a fucking bear cub? <laughs> <laughs> Do not mention they're a family of bears. Yeah, they live in the bear village. They're going to fuck you up now. <laughs> yeah, tell you, don't mention it to him, will you? Yeah, Chris holding onto his feet are resting on the chest of her sister and began to cry. <laughs> so a trap bitch so he's on his feet and he put him on So is this some sort of weird sex thing? It's like a foot job for your boobs. <laughs> <laughs> like, what am I missing a, here? A a footy titty massage. Footy t- 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 incestuous footy titty. titty massage. <laughs> How about, how about you just call it Hotty Totty and just be done with it? <laughs> <laughs> Nina tried to control something that was screaming inside her. Over and over and over again felt anger. Yes, yes, the baby had to be born through hatred. That's why they killed the brother. I don't know. Nina left and immediately took his brother to the hospital to be sure it was not something serious happened. 
Nina called her mother to inform her of the incident. His mother immediately rushed to hospital. The doctors informed that Chris has suffered various internal bleeding. Nina's mother began to cry. Chris was discharged the next day, but he needed to rest for another three wait, days. Wait, wait, he's got se like serious internal injury. You can piss off now. I keep telling you, they've got the same doctor, every fucking <laughs> one of them. Don't worry, the, the injuries on the inside of the body, that makes them heal faster. Well, don't worry, it's protected by the skin. <laughs> the injury is not going to escape. While Nina went to school, in his locker, he found another note saying, I'm so sorry about your brother. Brother, I hope he recovers. I do not think you're alone. I am here. I'll be your friend, but unfortunately, a distance. This is making me want to wash my eyes with lie. I swear to God, is this is this just going to turn out being, oh, there's the distant person. It's Jerf the Killer. Herpity derp derp. It's, it's Yif the Helen Keller. <laughs> it is Derf the Durker. Muhammad Ali. <laughs> Nina felt a slight blush. Weeks passed, and the two what, brothers were. What was in that note that would yeah. make you like any in, like what? I'm sorry about your brother insinuating that either a he attacked her or we b. Knew. Sorry, I'm just assuming it's Jeff the Killer. But how would she know it's from J C the Height? Sorry, Jeff the Killer. <laughs> but you know. Right. The two brothers were in school, this time by bus to prevent anyone from attacking Chris. They arrived at the school meeting with an unpleasant surprise. Claudia, Malcolm and John walked down the hall. Nina was aware of why their faces were looking for her and Chris. Nina hid for a time with Chris. I've just realised, sorry, I've just realised how similar this is to Jeff the Killer. Really? Two people... Against Two brothers. three bullies in a school setting. It's the same fucking story. No. <laughs> really, Toby, a creepy pasta with the killer in the title is derivative. <laughs> Come on, you know, stop the, the fucking presses. To be honest, mate. I, 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 someone I, like I don't someone know Palmer on the phone. He needs to say this to like the fucking. I don't know why I expect better, but. Come on, guys. I'm not fucking Gordon Ramsay. It's fucking raw. It's been done before. I'm a poet and a fuck off. The day passed so quickly, or so he thought Nina. Back <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me oh, four is all just about wrong. As in, they've got into a fight. <laughs> the day passed quickly, or so he thought Nina. <laughs> Back classes, Nina felt that followed them. Nina, to avoid being hit and fell to the ground, trying to get up, was hit by Malcolm in the stomach and fell to the ground watching Claudia. I don't know whose voice this is, so I'm just gonna do a silly voice. We finally managed to find you. Now you have to pay for what happened last time. I assume that's Claudia. Nina, she runs into a nearby house and locked himself in the bathroom, but Claudia took out a gun and whoa, started shooting. Whoa, whoa. Yes, but once How again, old are these people? Eleven, they're eleven, remember? Even like even if these kids are slightly older than the eleven year olds, if they're that upset with eleven year olds, they're probably no older than what, fourteen? Well fuck it, if they're in school they're not gonna be any older than sixteen anyway. And they're running around chasing 11 year olds with fucking guns. Why is this going on unchecked? But also, like, I, what would happen, do you think, if an 11 year old fired a gun? Probably break their fucking wrist yeah, if they didn't know how to hold it properly. I'm thinking as well, like, how did an 11 year old get a gun into school? Presumably they have to yeah, steal that's it. That's exactly what I was about They have to, to say. steal it from a parent. Like, I mean, America. Surely at the moment, like, someone at the house was like, my gun's been stolen. Did they find it in a shopping cart? But they couldn't pick it up because it was too dark. Like, the dad Fucking da Silent Hill 2, I swear to God. Yeah, I, w I actually watched you guys play it. You sucked at it. Yeah. 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 Toby, you're, well, Toby, you're bad at games in general. Hey, I'm alright at the Division, which I barely play, but, you know. Congrats, you get a medal for participating. I, 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 I'm alright. I took sounds. a gun and started shooting. Want to know what happened to your brother the night a few weeks ago? Did you shank him and then shoot him by any chance? The double S. Claudia said, chuckling. Nina felt a wave of hatred and anger, and yet the need to kill. 
Nina for a weapon in the room where she had been hiding found a rod of iron. Like Nina for a weapon. Does that, does that mean like Nina for a weapon as in someone you would love hot room? Nina for a weapon is like some weird shipping thing. Or somebody's going to run. Like fucking Randy Savage is going to come running out swinging Nina by her ankles and beating the bullies with her. Just, that would like, be awesome. Smash through the wall and just... Ooh, step into a Slim Jim. Right, you need that picture of like take a motherfucker and beat with a motherfucker. Or literally, she just turned into an AK. Transform. <laughs> just Megatron yeah. just turned into a gun for someone else to use. <laughs> That's, it's, it's Megatron the killer. Megatron had amnesia oh. and thought he was a schoolgirl. <laughs> or she was a schoolgirl. We're not sure. Yeah. <laughs> Since he's a robot, they don't really have genders, so it oh. makes so much oh. sense now. It's a crossover between Silent Hill and Transformers. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, guys, calm down. Just, just breathe, breathe, and let's do this. Found a rod of iron and went out, dodging the bullets of the gun as if they were leaves. Kiss my ass. <laughs> is she? Is she in the fucking Matrix? No. So I think, like, at least, with, I mean, it was ridiculous, but at least in Clockwork, it was like they'd given her a bunch of weird stimulants yes. and stuff. In this one, there is no reason, there is no reason given for an 11 year old to be able to dodge bullets. Couldn't dodge, like, 11 year old girl probably couldn't dodge a fucking rock. And we've been over the speeds before, and, rock. And Matt should know. <laughs> I do like stoning little girls to death. Oh, it's just in the Bible. <laughs> 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 I was going for the Bible, but either way, same thing, different hats. John John struck in the head and blood was sprinkled on the face of Nina. <laughs> and a mixtape. <laughs> Sprinkle blood, put a mixtape in her pocket. <laughs> Police turn up. Oh, it's a rap killing. Let's go home. At that time, he broke something. Something in Nina's head. Broke the line that separates sanity from madness. What? That's how psychology works. <laughs> Malcolm McDowell and Claudia Wolf took a s few steps back. Nina turned in their direction, showing a psychotic smile with a terrible warning. Forcing Chris to back away, and Claudia Malcolm. Is that a new character, Claudia Malcolm? Yeah, where was Chris there? I thought he was in the fucking hospital. Oh, I don't fucking know. He got, no, no, he got distracted. He got distracted. He's having his massive internal injuries. <laughs> don't worry, he just wrapped his heart in some bandages. I've just realised it's... It's, <laughs> it's going to blast it on his lungs. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, I'm now picturing Chris as the guy with the red nose from Operation. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, we'll just staple your kidneys back together. I've just realised is that that woman's name is Claudia Wolf, isn't it, or something like that? No, but Jesse Wolf. No, he just made that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, Claudia Wolf is is the, the old person from Silent Hill Three. That's actually her name. Yes. So Malcolm McDowell and Claudia Wolf. That's that's the two characters we're dealing with here. Claudia Malcolm tried to escape. But they they fused together. It's a third character we didn't know about. No, no, yeah. they just fused together. Like, oh shit, they're coming, like, better fused together. <laughs> Fucking Dragon Ball Z stuff. They just turn into, like, a huge mech. <laughs> Claudia Malcolm's off. <laughs> Combined! Yes, but they Ball were Z's joined. Motherfucker. <laughs> they were joined in a few seconds by Nina. They were pushed to the ground, and Chris, fear, looked at her sister who had a smile on his face. Psychopath. Nina struck repeatedly at Malcolm, opening a wound in the head, giving many blows to the head. Blood came crimson. crimson. <laughs> Blood came crimson. I think you need to see a doctor about that. Claudia tried to take the gun, but Nina kicked her so as not to make him take. Dot. Cla <laughs> Claudia looked up crossing the penetrating Nina. Last Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Sounds a bit like bum, doesn't it, lads? Last struck Claudia pole right to the heart. All right, I think I am. And you're to blame. I'll, t I'll take over now if you like. Right, pole to the heart, and you're to blame. <laughs> you keep writing a bad name. <laughs> Nina the killer, the bad story. N Nina, da da da. You feel well, dash well. What? Chris said with horror. He, like his brain was leaking out of his ears. Nina turned to him with their faces a bit more relaxed. 
but without erasing his smiles. Feel, feeling good. I feel really well. <laughs> now, my prince, let's go home. Son of fucking robot. This is a rap go killing. Go let's go home. The more, the merrier. Dr. Eggman's Mean Bean Machine. <laughs> By Dr. Eggman's Supreme Spook Machine on Sega Genesis. <laughs> Comes from the future. Starring Joe Courtney. <laughs> Nina and Chris returned home. Just arrived home. Nina ran to the bathroom to clean up the blood. Nina, with little awareness, took his computer and wrote a note. A note that maybe no one would ever read. I kind of hope no one had ever read this, if I'm honest. Night <laughs> fell. It's a bad grief bastard. The mother and brother were fast asleep. Who requested this, by the way? We didn't even say it at the beginning. Oh, I don't fucking know. People. People <laughs> we, requested this. We just had a, I had a copy beings. of it. I wanted to get rid of it. Human beings requested it. It was requested a while ago. Okay, um, but Nina stood up, still without clothes, and looked what? in the mirror. He saw a common face. Then, without erasing his smile, psychopath, he went into the kitchen to drink a bottle of vodka. Hey, G. This Did you actually say that? You... Yeah, is eleven. Put on the table a bottle of bleach. Finding nothing, he began to look for. Where are you, piece? Oh, do you want to do the voice? Where are you, piece of bleach? What? It's a solid, big old block of bleach. It's not those. To- it's not those toilet. Those like toilet blocks. Yeah. It's a block of bleach. Thing of bleach. Bleachy bleach. Flavor flav. I mean, bleach is shit anyway. Oh, you mean the anime? Yes. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Bleach is a bit shit. Alright. 